Attention, dear subscribers of the Brilliant Travel Tube portal, as well as big fans of my videos. I continue to tell stories about my great homeland, Georgia, and with this, I continue to amaze you with the stories I have told you, legends and real facts. You are probably already used to the fact that in every new video, I appear at a different point of my homeland. And this is of great importance if you want to tell not only about one city, but about the country, the whole. And so, I am now standing in a new location in my incredible country. But, my dear subscribers, I will say absolutely confidently, seriously and directly, friends, also, this place is the only small, tiny point on a huge map of the world. But in fact, it is not a place, and not a location, and not a quarter, and not a city, and not a district, and not a land. And as recognized by all the new travelers, historians, writers, poets, and tourists, this geographical location is one great divine feeling. The great immortal Georgian spirit and the name of this great and kind soul sounds like this, very simply. Kutaisi. Kutaiso, Kutaiso. And I now stand on this ancient land where more than 3,500 years ago the first Georgian statehood writing, industry, military production, national economy, the culture of folk architecture, creativity and literature, medicine and finally wine making took over. Local, the ancient rulers of the kingdom called Heti had enormous scientific and magical knowledge in all spheres of life, acquired by their labor and also given by gods from outer space. And a symbol of the power of their statehood and worldwide popularity. They had a golden fleece, the history of which is well known for any school child. But this is not all. On this land, for a long time before the Calhetian kingdom, millions of years ago, huge dinosaurs walked with their clumsy footsteps, built dwellings in the caves of Sataplia, created families, gave birth to their children, grew them up and died with a sense of accomplishment. But, as a matter of fact, these dinosaurs left their huge footprints not only on this land, but also at the same time on the immortal history of the planet called Earth. And finally, and I speak in advance because this story the least important for the centuries-old history of the great Kutaisi. Here, on November 27, in this building, 1967, was born Yo Amrietok. And only here I will introduce myself to you, my dear friends. Introduce my real name. Welcome to Travel Tube Georgia. My name is Konstantin Malani and I'm on a travel tube. As you may have guessed, it's impossible to convey all the beauty of Kutais in one, three, five, and even million of videos, since the history of this land is inexhaustible and endless. But I will try to tell you the most interesting things about this amazing city, which is the first most visited city in Georgia. I will gradually offer you the several stories about my Kutais. And I will start with the most ancient history from the life of my hometown. I will start with the Mesozoic era. And this video will be so-called Dinosaurs, Citizens of Kutais. Go 
Good morning, my dear friends. Today is the first of November, Sunday morning. Rain is falling. Rain is not falling. You can see the sun is shining very brightly and it's a good day, wonderful day. And sun is the best for our shooting. Remember, photographers. And let's continue. And we're going to give you the best present with your own eyes to see this wonderful place, the habitat of the ancient dinosaurs. By the way, I rightly call these huge creatures from Kutaisi. In fact, Satafliya Strict Nature Reserve is located just seven kilometers from Kutaisi, the capital of Imereti. This is a rancho of my brother. Uh, he is a very humorous person and I will try to make you sure. Can you see? Beware of dinosaur, more ferocious than mother-in-law. Huh? Can you judge it? The name Sataplia can be freely translated as a honey place in Georgian language. Tapli, tapli means honey. And in fact, bees used to live in small holes and caves and honey was harvested by the local population. And now we have already arrived at this place and have come to this magic door, behind which is a magical world petrified in stone of the Mesozoic period. Much more trustful incredible and real than in the computer graphics, a simulated park of the Jurassic period from the fantasy man Steven Spielberg. So let's open this incredible door. Welcome to Sataplia Jurassic Park, my dear friends. My friends, if you want to know, my visit as a producer of the documentary was previously arranged with the leaders of both the city and this park. And we must pay tribute to the managers of this place. Not everyone succeeds in such happiness to open this door, temporarily closed to tourists because of the pandemic. But it was me, as a native person who was born in Kutaisi and a widow man. As a contributor of Travel Cube, I was given such an opportunity. And I'd like to meet you with uh, this guide, with this guide of this place, with an incredibly beautiful girl, uh, Nana. And Nana will tell us what, what we can see today with her help. Uh, hello, my name is Nana. I will be your guide today. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to see footsteps of dinosaur. Oh, Next point incredible. is cave, uh, oh. also museum and panoramic viewpoint. Excursion lasts about one hour. We will walk about two kilometers. As I have already told you, first time we will see footsteps of di dinosaurs. Are you ready? Yes, yes, I'm okay, ready. Okay, let's continue. Let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go then. Uh, Sataplia Nature Reserve, located in Tsgaltobo municipality on the hill of Sataplia, 500 meters above from the sea level. Sataplia mainly is known for the footsteps of dinosaurs. It was discovered by Georgian pedagogue Petre Chabukiani. Footsteps can be found in two layers. In the lower layer you can see footsteps which belong grass-feeding dinosaurs, and in the upper layer you will see footsteps which belong meat-eater dinosaurs. Unfortunately, we have not information about what kind of dinosaurs walked here, because we have only footsteps, we have not any skills, any here and it's 
so difficult for scientists to determine what kind of dinosaurs walk here. As I have already told you, in the lower layer you can see only one footsteps which belong grass-feeding dinosaurs. Height was about 6 meters and weight was about 30 tons. Unfortunately, climatic factor made this paleontological monument because here was not any building and rain was these fossils. And in the upper layer you can see uh, relatively small reptiles. Okay. Uh, I'm short of these dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, you will see real dinosaurs on your way. Real, are you ready? Yes, yes, but I, I will be frightened. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm sure. Everything will be okay, I think so. Every person has their own imagination, I think so. <laughs> Yeah, no. Mountain View, Jurassic yeah, but Park. first time uh, we're going to the Jurassic Park oh. and you will see real dinosaurs on your way. Are you ready? What you say? Yeah, I was, but I am a little T-Rex. No, don't be afraid. Is it real dinosaurs? Real dinosaurs. Real just, dinosaurs. Just, just, just I'm, You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're I'm kidding. You're frightening me. <laughs> don't be afraid. Everything yes. will be okay. They are very friendly sure. person. I'm you. With your protection. <laughs> okay, let's continue away. Okay. Uh, are you ready to see T-Rex, most dangerous dinosaur in the world? Ah, this is? Yeah, this one. Oh my god, don't afraid. Don't afraid. Is it real? Him, no, no, it's not real. It moves um, uh, because uh, uh, it's specially made. Especially made for tourists, for I tourists, think. So, for yeah. frightening. Yeah. The tourists never come here for this. No, shock. I think it's interesting. I don't agree with you. I think it's interesting. The more tales. Too. Yeah, yeah. It, was My name biggest and dangerous dinosaurs Let's in the world. Let's introduce yourself yeah. to each other. Hello T-Rex. Hello T-Rex. We have visitors. What's your name? <laughs> we have guests. And now what kind of dinosaurs is it? Uh, okay, this one is Stegosaur. Uh, stegosaur. So he eats only plants and I think uh, he's a kind he of dinosaurs. No, he does not move. Oof. Okay. And Thank to goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I think it has an aggressive voice, but it's afraid as well. So. Does it yeah. aggressive or not? Yeah, no, no. Okay, don't separate also his uh, flying lizard. Flying? So he, yeah, flying I lizard. I yeah, he's unable to fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Don't afraid. Uh, he loves fish and meat so much, yes. but I think he has very ugly face. Uh, yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she is protecting her eggs. Yes. Right? Yeah, she protected she her eggs be because for us. yeah, she protected eggs. I think so. Quite sympathetic woman. Uh, okay, Satopia means honey place. Wild bees inhabit on this hill, made honey, and local population collected honey. Because of that, we call it Satafria. Right now, we have only two families. They are living in this hole right now. Let's continue. Let's continue away. away. Next point is hay, cave. And also, after cave, we'll see highest point, panoramic view wow. point. Very interesting play, yes, place, very I interesting. think so. Let's it's 500 away. meters above from the sea. Oh, well, yeah. As for the cave, cave was discovered by Petri Chabukiani. Length of this cave is about 900 meters, but only 300 meters is accessible for visitors uh -huh. right now. Uh, temperature is constant 14 degrees in the cave. Humidity is very high, 97%, and oxygen is 21% uh -huh. in the cave is outside. You will see very colorful and different shape formation in the cave. I mean stalactite, 
stalactite grown down from the sailing. Stalagmite opposite formation mm. grow up from the bottom. If stalactite and stalagmite meet each other, joins form ah. stalagmite. This formation forms from the water. Water contains different kind of minerals uh, and salt, and it helps to grow such colorful formation in mm. the cave. One centimeter need one hundred year, but it depends how fast seeps water in the cave mm. because everything, as I have already yes. told you, forms from the water. But yeah. can you can you establish at what right point we are standing? Right so now, right now this. we're in the transparent hole. We call transparent hole because you will see we're transparent formation here. And next to, point we're to going to the left the branch. Yeah. The cave has two branch, left and the right, but uh -huh. it's not uh, um, open for visitors uh -huh. right now. Yes. And next point is stone heart hole, and I will explain why we yeah, call why it here. And uh, so actually, Satapria's cave is not long cave; it's uh, a short cave. Not long, but well, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. It's very and interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Why in this cave so low light? Because it's impossible uh, to uh, shoot it. Uh, your normal camera and so explain, please. Your uh, because um, uh, this this is special light uh, for cave uh, and uh, uh, any foreign person which comes here demands environment inside. Uh -huh. Uh, and as for the Everything climate, changed. your of course temperature, uh, same temperature and high humidity is important. Uh. I think so. Uh, as for the climate, climate is so clean and useful for people suffering with asthma. Yes, you can, especially you can, for me. So here, <laughs> you can breathe this climate deeply. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I have to buy one small house in this cave. Is it possible? No, it's For my possible. Lungs. No, <laughs> it's impossible. I think so. It's protected by the government. Yeah, of course. It's part it of emergency protected. Kind of yeah, this place is part of emergency protected areas. Yeah. High humidity is not useful for human. I think so. Uh, you can see a biggest formation, stalagmite. It had the form as anatomic heart and we call it heart stone stalagmite. So when water comes here, it may hang on the ceiling as a small droplet uh, which contains minerals and it helps to grow stalactite from the ceiling. And um, same thing happens when water hits on the floor. Uh, water evaporates and deposits calcite trace on the uh, bottom and helps to grow stalagmite opposite formation. And they, when they uh, meet each other, form stalag stalagmite. I, I think it has a form as column. Can you see? This is stalagmite. How many times it needs to uh, meet each other, stalagmite? Uh, they need a long time, long one centimeter, time. one hundred year, one hundred year, a century. I think so. As for the uh, age of Sataflia, age is twenty-five million years. Yeah, actually in Georgia we have a lot of caves, <laughs> many unexplored caves also. These amazing things only in Kutais. Because Kutais is an amazing place. You can see scale, the scale of the T-Rex and market of T-Rex also, and you can read information about uh, different kinds of um, mm -hmm. uh, dinosaurs in the world here. Uh, shut up! Shut up, please. Shut up, please. <laughs> we don't uh, afraid.
Or you He's already? <laughs> yeah, we are friends right now. Yes, we don't afraid. <laughs> yeah. This is whole Kutaisi on my hand. Here, this is highest right right point. Uh, point. Yeah, it overlooks the city of Kutaisi, 500 meters above from the sea level. And I think it's interesting. Does place. it allow us to come? Yeah, through? of course you can. It's not forbidden. Yes. Yeah, it's not but forbidden. But it's, it's a little of a frightening. Dangerous. But <laughs> not dangerous, but frightening to see about this place. And. <laughs> I am danger Is it this last wrong? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? I'm sure. My weight is uh, quite heavy. <laughs> but can you make out whole Kutaisi? What a pleasant view. Dear Nana, what can you tell about this place where we are now? I think one of the sightings of Kutaisi and Sataplia is this glass bridge, this oh, panorama view point, because you can see whole Kutaisi and our green uh, down, a beautiful forest. forest. Yes. And I think um, uh, this view inside is very beautiful in autumn, I think, because in you autumn. can see yeah, yellow, yellow leaves. Yes, everything. So but now is somewhere autumn. you can see green leaves and yellow leaves, and I think it's pure, yeah, beautiful place. It's yeah. our last point. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, our last point. And after that, we are going to. We have to leave, leave this reserve here yes, uh, at this fine. point. And finally, we're just about to leave for Kutaisi. I'd like to thank my dearest guide, my dearest already friend, <laughs> uh, Nana, uh, for her intending to get us involved in this incredible Jurassic uh, world, Sataklia. And uh, please, uh, can you tell any words to, especially for our travel to subscribers? Uh, please. Uh, what I can you wish then? Your, uh, I have to say thank you to you because you read it to us. Mm -hmm. And I think we need peace right now. Okay. Uh, and also we need a lot of uh, guests. As you know, Georgia is a hospitable country. Okay. And we need a lot of visitors and in our country. And I think right now we need peace, first time. We must get, get rid of a pandemic, of course. <laughs> and, uh, and everything will be fine. Yeah. And we will meet in Georgia, in Satapli, and with guiding of uh, now they are as Nana. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Travel Tube Georgia. My name was Konstantin Malania and I was on Travel Tube. Hi. Ba 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 ba